All right, guys, we've got Rand Crucify Your Culture. I've seen this one pop up in the comments for a little while, so uh, let's get right into it. A murderer's mind, born into a murderous time, where right or wrong is a blurred line, hard to define, for greed is poison the well. We all drink from the chalice, it's a long way down into the rabbit hole, Alice. Now I crucify your culture, burn down the altar. Religion of consumerism picks us up like vultures, takes us for punks. They say jump, we jump. It's the same if it's Bush or Obama or Trump. I'm not buying into it. I just did my first Ren interview reaction. Doesn't matter who's president. Really doesn't. Pete, you know, some people, you know, they might get mad at that. It really, like, it truly, guys, does not. It's, a, you know, the religion of consumerism, the, the <laughs> you know, and, and I, in the interview, Ren said he's not anti capitalist. He's not pro socialism. He's not pro communism. He's anti, anti greed. And, um, we get programmed from a young age to buy things over and over. They say jump, we jump. I won't get into it too much here, man. And and I've learned to really just stay away from politics on the channel because no one, I no one wins, no one wins. No matter what you say, it, it it's like once it, like people's emotions are tied so strongly to politics nowadays that you could say the littlest thing i'm sure even saying it doesn't matter if it's obama bush trump clinton the original clinton the original bush like it it doesn't matter like the the systems that run the united states are not the politicians okay the politicians get money from the real systems that run the united states and and i i can't speak for many other countries because I don't live in them and I don't I don't study a lot. I don't study anything in general. I try to think a lot. I try to keep Einstein wrote and and if you don't look, sorry, if you don't like the talking, feel free. Einstein wrote a letter to his son. He said, "Don't read too much." Look this up, by the way, if you if you think I'm bullshitting. Don't read too much. Go on long walks. And he was all about he was all about kind of absorbing concepts and leaving your consciousness open for ideas and and kind of taking ideas in he said he tries not to think in words you know he would listen to classical music where there's no words for hours and hours and, and try to open it up up his consciousness and expand it um <laughs> ren man every every damn time with ren not every time. So I've done some comedic reactions, but every time with Ren almost. Was that a baseline from like a Rage Against the Machine song, or am I just making that up? You guys let me know. Illusions of truth, take our voice, or take my gold, read the election system deficit, represent nobody but your money, honey, how you keep them sweet, honey, shepherds and the sheep, don't they'll find a way to sell my views, like they sold the concept of freedom to you, they sold the voice of Huxley, of all well, goodbye, like Dalai Lama, now they're all just a product to you, and now George Orwell, Animal Farm, um, Aldous Huxley, um brave new world and you know he said the dalai lama and one other one um voice of Hux. look them up guys audio book it i audio book because i i don't something's wrong with me i have trouble reading and i i don't have it's it's time consuming it's easier to do audiobooks audio book them guys great works and now you care more about your new shoes The loose screws and minds of politicians that abuse truths To shape you, break you, consumerism breaks you Until your thoughts are end you, they make you wanna hate you So you keep buying, 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 corporation Brian Defying, fraudulent liars and burning empires Tapping to the telephone wires and history's fires It glorifies and justifies our evil It justifies the wars that bring destruction upon people Every single human born equal They treat you like an asset, not a human man, it's see-through Slavery through debt, you think that mortgage is to help you? Bills stacking high, killing dreams, money making Lion tames you, the land of the free. Irony, a hierarchy, folks, education kills the fire in me. Still, I stand strong like two towers that were knocked down by greedy men's thirst for power and now greed. 
Ren, you sound a little like a conspiracy theorist. What are you saying, Ren? The two towers were knocked down by greedy men? Oh, interesting. Now, I, I found on this channel, some people are, find it surprising that an American would agree with something like this. Um, we get it, though. We know, like, this, but, you know, the systems are incredibly large and, like, I don't know how you would change um, the American capitalistic system that we have. Um, it's almost like the corruption is too embedded. The the private industries, like the uh, private military um, industrial complex. Um, I, I'm not going to go through the, the list, guys. These things, I mean, there's so much money being made and, and there's so there's so much corruption already there. I, I don't know how you would change it, but. I, I will say um, Americans are starting to become more aware of, of the fact that these systems are corrupt and that there is um, th there's a reason you get ads for things that you would be interested in and like, oh, hey, check this out on Amazon, new on Amazon. Oh, hey, this is a hot new. People are buying it. Um, there's a reason they know what you want or what you would have a predisposition to want to buy would be the better way to say that. Um, you know, and it's, it's not cons like, it's not, you can, it's not even conspiracy guys. Like it's, it's simply greed. People have the money to buy information about you and they want to sell you more things for more profit. And there are, uh, with AI, you can automate these systems so that you don't need a human being researching another human being. You just have a computer system and an algorithm researching you all the time. And it's a little bit freaky. Um, it's a little bit freaky, but I, I have realized that some people think that an American would be offended by this. And there are, I promise, there are Americans who, there's there are people who get emotional about things everywhere. Um, but there are also many, you know, the running joke is like, I don't care what facts you put in front of me. I'm an American. I don't have to change my opinion. Um, and you know, some of that's true, but there's, there's also a, a growing understanding and education, 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 education. When we're young, you know, that's when we really need to be, um, <laughs> learning about these systems. Um, and once again, I'm not anti-capitalist, man. I'm not anti-communist. I'm not anti-socialist. Well, I'm definitely anti, like you go too far one way. I'm anti that for sure. Like, I don't like communism. Probably not the answer, guys. Like, let's probably not the answer. Fascism, probably not the answer. Um, there are aspects of socialism I really like, and we have a lot of social um, socialist aspects to our society here in the U.S. now. And some people don't seem to realize that, but we do. Um, and you know, I also, I think there's a, a healthy, um, coexisting between the two. Um, and we haven't struck that, you know, we haven't found that right balance, but, um, let's keep going here. Greed plants a seed that will destroy us all if we succumb to greed. Fuck greed. Silent I breathe. Burn money. Greed makes us bleed, makes us bleed, makes us bleed. Our political system is a farce. Democracy will not exist till actions speak louder than money. Wealth is a poison, honey, another money making... Not exist till actions speak louder than money. Wealth is a poison, honey. Another money making holiday for the Easter bunny. I've got sock out your soul, I drink Coca Cola. Lining up the pockets of the fat controller. Selling fear to the people, let it spread like a bowl. A propaganda machine. Remember the dream, it's hopeless. Nikola Tesla, 1883 The DC common system fought against the AC But not because the AC system wasn't any better Because people don't like change when money's at the centre Move, let me enter from the epicentre Poison parliamentar, who's the main contender? Oh, it's you, Mr President Evident that the counterintelligence is a hell of a prevalent That the counterintelligence is a hell of a prevalent prevalence. 
I don't know. I've heard Ren in Sick Boy, the song Sick Boy, he mentions counterintelligence, a sight to behold, a rape the earth of all the resources, and we, we bleed it for gold, we bleed it for wealth, we bleed it for fame. Um, I don't. I wonder if he's actually talking about like a counterintelligence e effort under Trump. Like, I wonder if he's, he's specifically referencing some kind of event there. Um, I do not know. I do not know. Um, if he is, you guys let me know. Um, but a huge thing he said, democracy will not exist until actions are louder than money. I, I, I have said it quite a bit. A lot of people have opinions, a lot of people have thoughts, a lot of people say they're absolutely disgusted by certain things, but they're still going to go to work tomorrow. They're still going to, like, how much of your life are you changing? And and um, there was a great interview with, uh, he, he's, um, he's a rapper, but uh, he's kind of like a social activist as well. Uh, Killer Mike is his MC name. Um, I know his name. I can't remember it. Um, but Killer Mike, he was talking. He said he was basically saying, "Until you decide, you need to stop going to work to to fight whatever this problem is. We ain't getting shit done." Like I'm paraphrasing, but that's essentially what he's saying. It's like until until we all decide, we're gonna boycott work. We're gonna boycott certain products. We're gonna pull our our money out of certain banks and put them into other banks. Like. He was, he was talking, I mean, Martin Luther King Jr., one of the things he started doing before he was assassinated, not putting on my tinfoil hat, but one of the things he started doing is, is he was going to cities and saying, in this city that you live in, human beings, here are the white banks. You guys have money in these white banks. Here are the black banks in this city. Take your money out of the white banks, put them in the black banks. I mean, do like, you know, until people decide we are skipping work, we are, we will shut down our employer by everyone leaving until we can have a passionate enough organization and that kind of a mobilization, you're, you're not going to inflict any real change. Their pockets, they, you know, they are not going to understand. They don't care about your voice. You know, it's cynical, but I don't think they really care about your voice. What they do care about is if they start losing money, then they're going to say, oh, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it is time for some change. Maybe we should change a thing or two that we do. Um, I don't know how I got here. I don't know how I got here, but for anyone who is still listening, I will wrap this one up. Um, I'm going to be posting the uh, interview I, I watched of Ren. Um, I'm going to be posting that pretty soon and, uh, definitely check that out. Um, you know, I, I would like to meet Ren at some point and just talk, talk to him. I don't know if his diet allows for beer, but I would have a beer with him, talk to him, maybe interview him. That would be really cool to, to kind of interview him and kind of, kind of, uh, pick his brain about a few different things and just kind of let him talk for a while. Um, but I'm going to wrap this one up. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, recommend, or do not. Um, I appreciate all the support on the channel, guys. Thank you.